Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Today is Fausa Balogu's 61st birthday. Happy birthday to this lovely test pair. Fausa Balogu was born on February 13, 1959 in Ikwara State, Nigeria. She's an actress known for Omi, Omokupa and Ofimose. Everyone is celebrating this test pair today. All our colleagues and fans have been sending adorable messages on all social media platforms. The actress is also filled with gratitude as she shared a message on her Instagram. This is Fausad Balogun's message. Oluwa Moshokba Etemi, one is getting better over the years. A man is getting wiser over the year. I'm a year older today. This is the reason for happiness, not sadness. I'm so thankful and grateful for these years of life and these people who surround me. Let there be new beautiful moments and days of inspiration. Happy birthday and congratulations to me. We also say happy birthday to you, ma. Lots of thespians and our fans also left heartfelt messages to celebrate this thespian. People like the veteran actress Jayola Nimonje, Wumitoriola Kunle Afford, Tonya Dewale Ayuade Sonya, Yabo Ujo, Mosura Mwalafa, Bisi Bidapo Obe, Omalausa, Mr. Amu, Lola Margaret, Yetunde Barnabas, and so many others. This veteran has been in the industry for 47 good years. Fausa Balogun grew up in an Islamic home in Kwara State, where she also had her education. Fausa Balogun has been into movie production since the year 1975, and she has starred in over 80 movies, mostly in Yoruba language. She made a name for herself when she starred as Madame Shoje in a 1990 television series titled Enrique K. Some of the movies she has featured in include Inkon Kun Kun, Adufe, Nenya Mole, Labalaba, Itelorun, Omelemo Show, Yawojo Kon, Ife Kubami, Bugolomo, Ashikbamo, and Eto Obirin. Just last year, she celebrated her birthday in style and she shared adorable photos as she clocked 60 years old and her son gave her a mind blowing tribute. This was how Niger Gist reported it. Also at Balogu, Madam Shaje, Max's sixtieth birthday today. Caesar's mind-blowing tribute to her. Veteran Nollywood actress Madame Shaja is a year older today. The superstar clocked sixty today, Wednesday, the thirteenth of February, twenty nineteen. There is our, our holy son Afis Balogun and Gio placed that via his official Instagram page. It reads, "Where should I start from? Okay, you see this Alubarika here. She's my mother." And if truly we do come back to the world again, and you can me, I would love to be your father so I can repay back all this care. Shajeti Ologa, love you always. He wrote. He tagged this message with a beautiful picture of Madame Shaje. Ibrahim Chata and Oduna De Adekola were also not left out in this birthday shout out. In April 2013, Madame Shaje celebrated her 40 years on stage. With a glamorous party held at Times Square Event Center located in Ikeja, Lagos. Many top Nollywood actors were at the event to celebrate the lifetime achievement with the talented actress who has been a mother to many. Also in December 2018, she celebrated her 45 years in Nollywood. All the media houses trooped in to broadcast the event and they also wrote about it as Madame Shaja made some revelations. This was how Daily Advance Nigeria reported it. 45 years in Nollywood, why I didn't resort to selling words in Oshodi. Alaja Fausa Balogun, who is widely known as Madame Shaje, has remained relevant in the Nigerian movie industry for 45 years and she has revealed her secrets. In a recent report by Legit, the actress said the passion for acting has kept her going for 45 years and hopefully more years ahead. As for me, I have spent over 45 years in this industry, so it is something that is already part of me. I cannot readily change to do another thing. However, I am happy that I don't beg to eat and I am able to do things that my peers engage in, she said. The only thing keeping many of us here is the passion we have for the job. If not for that, some people would have resorted to selling wares at Oshudi. There are no structures in place and pirates are also dealing with us. I can only speak for myself. I cannot say anything about what people do in their private moments. However, if the industry is buoyant, 
there wouldn't even be mention of things like this. It is because of the hardship in the sector that some people engage in some act. Balo was said as Madam Shadow in the 1990 television series titled Enrique K and has went on to feature in over 18 movies since then. This was how it was reported. Well, we are grateful for Madam Shadow's tenacity and for blessing us with her talent over these years. Fausa Balogun is married to the actor Rafiu Balogun, who was her boss before they got married. Her eldest son, Afiz Adio Balogun, is a director, and her youngest daughter, Bintu Balogun, is an actress. The actress was bestowed a special recognition award for her remarkable contributions to the growth of the movie industry in Nigeria during the 2016 edition of the City People Entertainment Awards. These are some of Fausa Balogun's movies in her career Fausa has featured in many blockbuster flicks including Oyela Ja, Owo Nibara, Okomi, Akeba Je, Ladibolu, Murenike, Okomamai, Tanimola, Nko Okoku, Adufe, Lenye Akmonle, Labalaba, Itelonru, Omwele Mo Sho, Yawo Jokon, Ife Okoba Mi, Bobolomo, Ashekpa Mo, Eto Obimi, Yawo Lenu Rezo, Kokorate, Omogele Pa, Ola Ito Anikura, Oju Ole Ba, Langbodo, Ologon la, Agbaro Binri, Mori Yeba, Orishi Rishi, Koshe Gbo, Sere Kode, Ojo Ekun Le, Alashe Aye, Imported Lomo, Adon Ale, Ileri Oluwa, Ogon Aye, Omo Pupa, Omi, Otipo Ju, Olo Wola Aye Mo, Irani Moyon, and many others. These actress whose acting progress keeps fans glued to their seats, whatever Nollywood Yoga movies are on said her personality in real life is totally different from the one she gets paid to act. I want to entertain her. Uh, those who know me can testify that I have a lovable personality. I always like to make people happy. I'm a very real person and I hate pretense. I prefer to say it as it is at all times. Even some people may be uncomfortable with it initially. It is ultimately better to tell the truth at all times. As actors, we often have to wear certain robes that are not ours. I could be called upon to act as a wicked, rich, kind, or diabolic woman. It all depends on the script. In a chat with Sunday Scoop, this was Madame Shadow's response when she was asked about her thoughts regarding young actresses rumored to be small girls with big guts. For Madame Shadow, she could hardly care about these ladies who reportedly engage in prostitution just so they can keep living the dazzling life. But one thing she was sure of was that if the industry was blessed with their hustle enough, they would not engage in such practices. These were words I can only speak for myself. I cannot say anything about what people do in their private moments. However, if the industry was buoyant, there wouldn't even be mention of things like this. It's because of the hardship in the sector that some people engage in untoward heart. And given her status as one of the Nigeria's oldest actresses and popularity gathered from acting in over 18 movies, it is expected that the lady will be living her best life and showing upcoming acts how to turn the world of filmmaking into an enterprising venture. However, the veteran has given everyone a big shock with the words she spoke during an interview. As opposed to the glamorous life she is expected to live, Madam Shadja revealed that they're suffering in Hollywood. Ruma, renowned for her comic roles and act as a mother in most Yoruba speaking movies, disclosed that there was really no gain in movie making. She blamed the government for this shocking abnormality in the industry. According to her, if the government were rightly doing what they were meant to do, Nigerian actors and actresses would be living the life Western filmmakers and acts were also living. These were words our leaders should have mercy on us. They're suffering in Hollywood. I just pray that God will make them have good thoughts towards us. If you are treated the way actors are treated in the Western countries, you can imagine where we would be. We are really grateful for Madame Shadja and all the Thespians that have been blessing us with their talents. And we pray that the Almighty God will bless them as we also support them. And we hope that the government to support and private individuals to stand up and support the industry. We have come to the end of this episode on this super talented thespian, Fawcett Balogun, popularly known as Madame Shadje. We hope you have learned a lot about her. Happy birthday once again to Madame Shadje. <laughs>